Um, my name is William Taylor and I'm an undergrad senior at UK. We're at Robinson Forest and I worked here this summer and this fall as a wildlife technician, uh, working on salamanders and also some pollinator projects, but my primary thing is the salamanders. We're assessing population demographics, uh, like survival, abundance, and occupancy uh, through the use of these cover board arrays. There's eight arrays of 50 boards each throughout the forest on these study sites. And we're doing sort of a before analysis of the populations as they are. And then the sites are gonna be altered for the study and then they'll come in later to see how things have changed. I was a non-traditional student. I had a full-time job during COVID and was like, I need to do something that feels meaningful to me. So I did a lot of research about schools in Kentucky where I could study the environment because I was doing a lot of hiking. And I was like, this is what I feel connected to. So I chose environmental science at UK. Throughout the years, I was taking all these classes and I was like, when am I gonna feel that thing that like, I want to do? Like, when am I gonna feel like the, that sort of click happen? And I kept waiting and it was the first semester of my senior year, but I took herpetology and I was like, okay, this is the thing, like finally. And uh, I'm really excited to have found that and pursue it in grad school as well. As you can see, you know, we're kind of out in like a wilderness area and this is uh, one of the largest blocks of forest definitely in the region, right? Continuous blocks. So um, being out in an area like this, um, hands-on experiences, I mean, I think it really benefits undergraduate students to see that. And, you know, it kind of pushes them further. I mean, William had a lot of input on the design of this project, started thinking about his own research questions um, that he can address, you know, and hopefully he can pursue some of those in graduate school um, after he finishes his bachelor's. A student can grow tremendously by experiencing field work and being in a place like Robinson Forest. It's really good, uh, especially in our field, to experience working outside, right? There's some opportunities to like some laboratory work, but being out in the field, and I think William would say this too, you get a kind of a whole different perspective. Um, you get to see the system as a whole, right? And so like you start understanding things like how weather dr drives, whether I find the species or not, you know, the seasonality of these animals. So I think I can talk about these things in the classroom, but when you experience it firsthand, you get a much better understanding. And then of course, like doing research in a field situation, there's a lot of different like challenges. You know, for one, we had to carry all these boards out here. This is just one out of eight arrays. You know, imagine us walking up and down these hills carrying all these boards. So we had to set this up. We set it up in a specific experimental design. Um, and then we monitor them on a regular basis. And I think it's a good experience for undergraduates to kind of, to kind of get every aspect of how we set up a study, especially in a field situation. This is what I want to do. Like, I want to be out in the woods doing stuff. You know, you don't know what is possible until you sort of figure it out, which is what school is great for. But like, if you really are interested in the topic, like talk to your professor and be like, how can I get involved in this and get involved in the sort of things that they're teaching about in class. Like they're teaching about studies and research and they're actually doing it and you can get involved in it. Um, if you just ask to be a part and then you get really get like a better idea of what science is and what the scientific process is from like start to finish and it really has helped me like have a clearer picture of what it can look like and I feel like really well prepared for grad school and know that I can definitely you know do this thing that before I was like I don't even know how that would work and now it's like oh I have a real good handle on it.